Back with uh, COVID-19 news last week alone, you know, we reported half a million Canadians applied for unemployment benefits. Economists are saying that uh, are saying double digit unemployment rates are a certainty that's coming our way. Joining us to talk through your rights when it comes to unemployment is Daniel Lubin. He's an employment lawyer. Good to have you back with us on your morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. You described it this way. You said you are scared about what you're seeing, that there have been mass layoffs that might not even be legal, and that most employees affected have no recourse. Describe for our viewers in the rest of Canada what it is that you're seeing, what's happening, and what worries you. It's been tough. It's really rough out there for people. Well, I'm seeing predominantly two types of things happening. The first is, is people are getting laid off, and the second is, is companies are asking people to work for less money and people are allowing it to happen. Um, in a lot of these cases, these are what we would call constructive dismissal claims, but people right now, they don't really have a better option rather than to sit, excuse me, to sit back and wait. Uh, and that's because they don't have the type of leverage that they would ordinarily have. Uh, starting a lawsuit right now against a company that's laid you off or reduced your pay, it's a daunting task. I mean, a lot of these companies are not gonna be in business in a couple years. Uh, let alone a couple months. So people are worried about spending money on lawyers and uh, there's an unknown risk in that. And a lot of other people are just unaware of their rights. Uh, it's a really difficult time for people to uh, to take up these cases right now. So people are taking a wait and see approach and hoping that things turn around. Uh, hopefully you can provide some answers. I know you can for our viewers who have questions about unemployment. Uh, for people who are looking to apply for employment insurance or the Canada Emergency Response Benefit, what advice do you have for them this morning? Well, number one is we need we need more information from from the government on the Canada Emergency Response Benefit. They basically said if you've been out of work or suffered a loss of income due to COVID for two weeks, you're eligible to apply, but they still haven't given us the fine print. So um, I generally have three categories of, of people who can receive employment insurance or the emergency response benefit. If you've been laid off or fired, apply for regular benefits. If you're sick, apply for sick benefits. For everybody else, you have to hope that you fit within the guidelines of the emergency response benefit. Until we see that information, it's not entirely clear. Uh, Daniel Lubin, we will check back with you around the beginning of April when uh, the finance minister says that website for applications will become live and hopefully we'll have more answers then and you can provide some clarification. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.